A question of character. character. Gogol 13 is a murderous, violent sex man. The only thing Gogol 13 enjoys more than making you die is making you die quicker. Your death gives him life. His feet are of magnificent power. Kick. Gogol 13's toes will be the cause of your explosion, but so will his bullets. Basically, anything Gogol 13 does to you will make you explode. Man, woman, motorbike, aquatic sea life. We are all combustible, and Gogol 13 knows how to make people explode. Explode, especially the women. But more on that later. Did I say later? I mean now. Gogol 13 will have sex. It will empower him. Therefore, only two conclusions are to be met after crossing paths with Gogol 13. Death or sex. Cross his path. Death. Are you a shark? Death. Left a secret message with Red River Jr., manager of hotels? Sex. Gogol 13 never smiles. Ever. Gogol 13 only talks when he's ready to talk. Okay, he's ready now. Speak and walk sideways, you funny, funny man. And speak fast because the world is dangerous. Uh, hmm. Luckily, you can just wait on. Of course, if you have the upper hand and catch it. Oh. Well, thankfully, if you happen to save his. Oh. Having a conversation with Gogol 13 will likely result in you dying. Gogol 13 has 99.99% accuracy. This entire mission is the 1% where he missed. And rest assured, he will miss a lot. Those jumpy guys are tricky. Gogol 13's custom made M16 is the strongest rifle ever created by man. His custom electric percussion push button M16 is even more powerful than his feet. He can destroy jets, submarines, tanks, heads, oh good lord. Gogol 13 will travel anywhere to complete his mission. And I mean anywhere. The most beautiful of architecture. The damp darkness of the jungle. Antarctica. Wearing only a business suit. Gogol 13 has been framed by a false Gogol 13. But how can one establish the validity of a true Gogol 13 versus a fake Gogol 13? By their smile. And as we all no. Gogol 13 never smiles. And this one laughs. Wrong answer. Gogol 13 fights the Trek Empire that have cool hovercrafts and somehow forgot to remove their secret Nazi symbol. They look to resurrect Cyber Hitler, codenamed Smirk. But this is no laughing matter unless you're the dead, fraudulent Gogol 13. But that is unlikely because he is dead. Gogol 13 expresses himself via punctuation. It doesn't matter if you don't understand what period, 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 period means. Even when a scientist reveals his entire reason for being framed, he doesn't even say thank you. Or when the little smiley man informs him that he's kidnapped the woman he doesn't love and the gun he does love, he only responds in period. However, not only are his feet and pistols and M16 deadly, but so are his retorts. He'll have you speaking in periods. Take that, Hitler, I mean Smirk's brain. For some reason, Gogol 13's enemies subject him to boring, boring mazes filled with some of the most 
dedicated of villains that choose to live out the rest of their days within these mazes. Now let us or anyone else never speak of these mazes again, but let's briefly speak of his good stroke. The secret societies of the world know Gogol 13 as a master assassin, but the women of the world know him as Big Daddy. A liaison named Cherry Grace first meets him and tells him to meet her back at the hotel. Big Daddy. Eve Christie is the Nazi leader's girlfriend, but also doesn't mind playing side piece. Big Daddy. As much as the underworld praises Gogol 13's feats and celebrates his incredible abilities to murder, one man in Greece does not. He explains to Gogol that he should not be proud of killing people quickly and that if he took a second to think about it, he himself would agree. Sadly, my good green man, the actual meaning behind it all is much more grim. The dark truth is that Gogol 13 is slowly dying. He must kill to live. It is truly a bittersweet paradox. It is almost to the point that Gogol 13 has lost his true passion of his assassin code because he does not state that he will assuredly complete his mission, but that he will give it a try. Anything for your sweet, sweet life force. Gogol 13 is a vampire of death, a monster adorned in a stylish blue suit with no shoes. He is truly a madman. This is the true reason he never smiles. Misery, death, and destruction are his only genuine reasons to exist. Well, that and cigarettes. Delicious, healthy cigarettes. Be sure to join me as I discuss Gogol 13 The Professional with James Eldred, host of Cinema Oblivia, your home for discussions on disregarded, tossed aside, thrown away, outdated, out of fashion, or otherwise unremembered films. It will be a fantastic conversation. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. Oh, character.